Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today we'll be taking a look at two spotlights that I've been using recently. Uh, in one side, uh, on this side, we have the Light Motion CLX light, and on this side, we have the IntelliTech Pocket Canon. And just a disclaimer, this light over here, the, the CLX was lended out to me. And the IntelliTech Pocket, I bought with my own money. Uh, so in today's video, I'll be talking about how I use them and, and do a little bit of a comparison. So spotlighting is a very specific type of lighting that you want to be very specific about. You're not going to use it in every situation. I personally use it for running gun shoots, especially for wedding filmmaking. When you're filming a wedding and it gets dark, you want to have a, a spotlight that can have a huge throw, like a spotlight like this one. You don't want to use LEDs because LEDs, you need to get them up close to your subject and often you can't do that because there's photographers and if you put an led right next to let's say the couple or the toaster it's going to be in the shot they're going to take it away also you don't want to do that you don't want to interfere with the atmosphere so therefore you need a good spotlight that can have a huge throw and you can get it out of uh, people's way and get it out of foot traffic because if you have a light stand sitting somewhere close in let's say in the dance floor or near the couple people are going to be walking in and out and there's a huge potential that someone can trip over that so that's why you need spotlights. If you film weddings, you know that you also wanna use these for the dance floor because often it's really dark and the DJ has these ugly uh, green and RGB lights that doesn't look good. Uh, so I like to place this um, in the back of the couple and I'm shooting into the light. So this is why, this is backlighting, right? It's, it's pretty cinematic, it's very interesting to look at. And that's what I like to do when I do any kind of wedding uh, film dancing. I like to shoot into the light. So here's our two lights. As you can tell, the pocket can, I'm gonna take these things off. The Canon, the pocket Canon is a little bit smaller, uh, but f the size is pretty much the same. Uh, once you take off the Fresnel, this is a Fresnel attachment that comes with the kit. Uh, otherwise the light looks like this and it, it wouldn't be a for now it would be more like a flood this you can adjust the flood back here you twist it and you get the spot the the spotlight gets narrower or wider but generally it's just a spotlight where this can actually become like a flood light and you can put different types of attachments i prefer you to use this light because this is all battery powered you just turn this knob and you turn it on there it is pretty bright and then this one though, you gotta run external battery to it. I have usually connected to this, uh, a V-mount battery like this one from K-Start, uh, but it gets pretty heavy. And like I mentioned, when you go to weddings, I feel like it's a risk to put this on because people are walking around, there's a lot of foot traffic, there's kids running around, and someone can easily tap this and this can come off the hook of the, tr the, of the, the light stand and I mean, the whole thing can come crashing down somehow. I just, you know, it's a lot of weight that you're putting on a light stand. I mean, it helps to keep it down, but also you can trip it and it can fall over. Where this one, you just take it out of the bag, you turn it on, and, and, I mean, you put it on a light stand, you turn it on and you're set to go. Where this one requires a lot more setup. If you don't have a V-mount, there's also an adapter that looks like this. This is a V-mount to MPF battery. You connect it to the back of this unit and then you can put Sony MPF batteries. I wouldn't recommend that because these uh, Sony MPF batteries die very fast. I've had issues with them dying in, you know, in the middle of a toast and you don't wanna have that. It's just, this is sucking too much power for these little batteries. So if you can buy a V-mount, otherwise, um, uh, this is great. It'll last me the whole night for weddings. Uh, that includes like 45 minute uh, long toast. Uh, also for wedding dancing, which is great for that. Once you put on the Fresnel, that, that's all you need really. This thing charges super fast. It takes about an hour, an hour, to two, or an hour 45 minutes if it's like the, the battery's completely dead. Uh, so it just packs a lot of punch into such, such a small package. When it comes to brightness level, this is definitely much brighter. Um, it is hard to really compare them because when you look at the specs, it's just, there's different numbers. But I ran my own test. I put the, the lights six and a half feet from that wall and this one came in at a stop 
uh, brighter, which doesn't sound like much, but it's a huge difference. However, I did notice that the CLX light has a yellow fringe around the corners. I'm not sure why that hap why that's happening. It's, it might be the Fresnel, it might be the light, I'm not sure. Uh, that, but that's something to look out for. Both are daylight balanced. The IntelliTech has a much higher CRI, but anything above 90 CRI is considered super high quality. What I like about the CLX light is that if you look at the back of the screen, it tells you how much battery life you have in minutes. Also, it tells you the exact brightness level. So you can go from 500 lumens up to 8,000 lumens. Uh, whereas the IntelliTech, does not really tell you of what brightness level you are. It has a knob, but it doesn't tell you the percentage or how many lux you're putting out. Uh, you just have to guess how much battery life you have. Uh, if you're using Sony MPF batteries, I wouldn't trust those because they might just die on you. The V-mount does tell you how much battery life you have, but still, it's not very exact. It's not exact to the minute. You can run both lights off of AC power. However, if you're gonna power the, the CLX light with uh, the AC power, it is recommended that your battery level must be of, above 50%. Now let's talk about price, which is probably the most important thing to consider right now. You're looking at $270 for the IntelliTech pocket that does not include batteries, but it does come with the power cord. Uh, whereas this one runs you 1300 with just the battery charger and also you can run it to the wall outlet with that. It does not come with the Fresnel, or any of the other light modif modifiers. Um, but if you buy the kit, it's $1,700. It comes with a bunch of li lighting modifiers, this Fresnel and another one that's not so narrow. It also comes with the remote control. That way you don't have to bring the light down. Let's say you're at a wedding, you, you bring it all the way up. You don't have to bring it down if you wanna change the settings or to turn it on or off. So it's a huge price difference. However, you gotta know that this light is more versatile. You can, uh, you can attach more uh, light modifiers to it, whereas this one, I don't even know what kind of modifier it uses. I, it doesn't even say on the website. So it can only be used at the spotlight. Whereas this, if you take off this light modifier, this becomes like a, like a flood kind of source, which I've seen a lot of photographers use for outdoor, uh, outdoor uh, lighting when they wanna combat the sun. You can actually do that if you turn it up all the way up to 8,000 lux. Also, it's preferred by a lot of doc documentary filmmakers and newscasters because, you know, not in those situations, you don't have a lot of time to set up. You're shooting outside in unpredictable situations. So it's very quickly for someone to just grab it and point it at a subject and then you can combat the sunlight. You can also put a small softbox on this and use it as a key light. I tried to put a 36 inch uh, softbox and uh, but it couldn't hold it up. The yoke wasn't strong enough. So you need a softbox that's the small enough. I'll have links in the description if you wanna check it out. Overall, to wrap this up, yes, this is much cheaper. You're gonna, it's 270 right now, US dollars. And you will need a V-mount battery. So you're gonna have to drop another, I don't know, 150 to $200 for a V-mount battery. Um, because you, I mean, I wouldn't wanna run it off of the AC for the most part. These are, for me, these are running gun sh uh, type of lights. Usually I'm not gonna plug them to the wall. Uh, so if, if money wasn't an issue, I would definitely buy this one. But if money is an issue and you only need a spotlight, then this is your best bet. If you're doing running gun shoots, you're a photographer and you want to use continuous lighting or a newscaster, a doc kind of work, this is my go-to light because it, it's travel, travel friendly. You, look, the whole kit, comes in in this bag right here. I mean, you can throw this in your camera bag or just, you know, pretend it's a lunch box and pass it through airport security. It shouldn't be an issue, right? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my over the, my overview of these two lights, the, my favorite spotlights that I've been using. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything I missed, please let me know down below. As always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.